working on uh, some glial cells. I'm glial biologist, and I'm from I'm basically a um, pathophysiologist as well. And I'm going to give a talk tomorrow about uh, the relationship between thyroid hormone and neuron glial interaction. And well, um, the thyroid hormone is very very important hormone, but um, it's not much known about how thyroid hormone works in the brain. And you know, uh, when we get older, many people have abnormal level of thyroid hormone, either low level or high level. And interestingly, uh, both um, lower level or high level of thyroid hormone, it increases the risk of uh, dementia, for example, Alzheimer's disease, or any psychological disorders, but we don't know why. And then we found out that uh, thyroid hormone works not only in neuronal cells, but on glial cells. And then they changed the morphology, well, the shape of the glial cells a lot. And the neuron, some synaptic uh, density also changes. That's why maybe the memory, system, memory and learning will change and some psychological disorders occurs. So it's very basic, but we can understand uh, the pathophysiology as well. And we may find a new way to treat Alzheimer's disease or dementia or any psychological disorders, especially people get older.